Let me turn to Iraq. And then that speech by Senator Luger, he really sent shockwaves through Washington earlier this week. And his basic point was that the surge in Iraq cannot achieve its goals because he says the Iraqi government isn't up to making the reforms that's, that are needed. The military can't hold out for very much longer. And our own domestic political timetable. Isn't he right that time is running out for any kind of a bipartisan uh, coming together on Iraq? You know, this is uh, the time may be running out politically in Washington, but it's not running out in Iraq. And that's the tragedy here. Uh, the fact is that that the surge has just been fully implemented in terms of personnel being there on the facts reduced violence in Baghdad and incredibly reduced violence in Ambar province to the west, which Al Qaeda in Iraq was in control of about a few months ago. The surge is working. So you might say that in Iraq we've got the enemy on the run, but for some reason uh, in Washington a lot of politicians are on the run to order a retreat by our troops even as they are beginning to succeed. And I think that's just plain wrong, yeah. count, contrary to our national security, and unfair to our troops that are fighting it. Let's wait till September, which we said we would do, when General Petraeus and Ambassador Crocker come back and give us a first-hand report. Yeah, we have also seen, at least in the past, that whenever U.S. troops left an area, the violence returned because the Iraqi forces aren't up to it. And it's just clear, at least so far, that the Iraqi government hasn't been willing to meet any of the benchmarks that you and the Senate have called for. Well, you're talking about two different things there, George. Let me say first that uh, the political benchmarks, the, the progress on a hydrocarbon law or, or uh, constitutional reform or provincial elections, um, I was there three weeks ago. I and every other American, right to the top with the president, President Bush, talking to Prime Minister Maliki regularly by video uh, conference uh, um, means. We, we continue to tell them you've got to get this done. Why? Because it's a sign that the different factions are working together but the reality uh, is that the new strategy General Petraeus is putting into effect is clear build and hold clear neighborhoods of terrorists start to rebuild um, those neighborhoods and hold them largely with Iraqi security forces and that is being done half of Baghdad is now uh, under our control under the Iraqi security force control almost all of Ambar which as I say was uh, was about to become the base for al-Qaeda in Iraq and now is under uh, coalition control with the support of Sunni tribal leaders and we've got enough forces there now to chase our enemy which we haven't done before Sen they've, they've waited come back in we're now in Diyala taking the fight to al-Qaeda and to order a retreat now which is what some of my colleagues w will ask us to do in July is just outrageously wrong